Hello and welcome to another episode of Spirituality Sideshow and I sound like Tanmay Bhatt in his reaction videos because I've been watching a lot of them just to get some fun in my life but we are shooting almost after a month and Sheila has been off on a sabbatical and change in destination and change in Location. Location. Relocation. Relocation. <laughs> you are watching us from a new location which is now hopefully going to be a permanent location for some months. So today uh, I have a very interesting topic and a lot of questions for Sheila because uh, as you know she's a master in a lot of things and this is one of them. But today we are going to talk about the serious issue about money, money, money. Must be funny. But first intro please oh yes hi there you're listening to spirituality side show where the weird meets the wonderful hit it okay shida so is money only a funny word in the rich man's world <laughs> i know abba said that but i'm not so sure about it in today's world in my money workshops i've seen grown men ball when we talk about money now i know that money is easy to generate it is would wait for her to say it and people like eh? <laughs> no because it's true geetika before you can create money in your pocket you have to have money in your mind what do i talk about? i'm not saying think day and night about money but what you have to do is your beliefs about money are the ones that create the money in your life mm. and once you follow the law of abundance you follow the law of attraction it works money actually pours into your life from unexpected sources in unexpected ways in unexpected amounts i was earning uh, so before covid i was earning 25000 per month which was of course i was not happy with but uh, working i came crying to sheila and uh, working with her i realized that well, there's more potential and i within 2 3 months i ended up uh, taking up a job that was paying me 65000 hmm. so uh, yeah that was a big change yeah and you know that after the 65000 your next jump was to 1.25 lakh yeah, per month double which means within a span of 2 years you went from 25000 to almost 5 times that amount that's not true. just almost 5 exactly 5 times yeah. exactly 5 times the amount do you remember what you did other than changing jobs cried a lot <laughs> in front of you <laughs> what did you do i think we worked i remember uh, because this was like 6 years back but i remember working a lot on my own self worth yes and my own uh, uh, confidence in my own abilities yes to be able to provide yes. for what is being asked for yeah actually that is a very important thing because our net worth is directly proportional to our self worth until you feel that you deserve that money hmm. and you really believe it from inside you will never be able to create that money in your life hmm. because true. the laws of abundance works the laws of attraction works and we we sometimes we try for a few times and then we say ah, this doesn't work hmm. and we discard it and we go back to our usual method of generating money sure. what is that panicking yeah <laughs> stressing being anxious getting into desperation and needing this yeah. but you know i this is just i mean these are some things that you're explaining about the people who are not who do not have enough money yeah. but i've seen the same traits in rich people as well yeah. who are like so stingy that they have crores in their banks and they're sitting on a property worth 100 crores and they're still like fighting with the vegetable vendor for extra dania yeah. <laughs> yes So how does that whole equation work? What does money buy you? Materialistic things. Money buys experience. you experience. Yeah. You need money so that you can have experience. The experience of a big house, the experience of a big car, the experience of exotic vacations abroad, the experience of putting your children into those really good schools yeah. and being able to provide for everything and everyone. Now, if you're going to use your money and sit on it and hold on to it and mm. hold it like silas mana true true yeah. but uh, you also kept talking about one is money is an energy and second is uh, abundance yes so tell us a little more about both these things no because i like you said that if it is first creating in your mind how do that how does that translate into energy abundance and then eventually money okay. in our pockets 
money is an energy mm. which means money has a frequency mm. money has a vibration mm. money does not vibrate with stress anxiety panic fear desperation neediness it does not true you if you cannot pull money down into your level money you have to resonate at the frequency of money mm. so how do you tune into the frequency of money by tuning into the same frequency that money vibrates with which is you are talking as if it's like tuning into a radio fm it is exactly like tuning into a radio fm what see now the thing is if you if you want to get 104 fm whatever that radio station is over there and you are tuned it at 99.5 mm-hmm. you are just not going to be able to get the same songs it's the same way yeah, but then what is that vibration of money that so you need to match up to the vibration of money is gratitude the vibration of money is happiness the vibration of money is love the vibration of money is joy when was the last time that you created money joyfully the moment you generate money with joyfulness you don't even have to look at all those things money will just flow into your life i was telling to this geetika that the last entire month i was mm. in sabbatical mm. right and uh, every time i needed money someone would be paying me money when i say someone i meant uh, you know some new client would come in i would get some new opportunities and i've been generating the money i was not consciously working for the money and in addition to that everything that i thought about kind of came about i was not even looking at a at a new house mm-hmm. and this new house just fell into my lap right i was trying to buy a new laptop mm-hmm. and my brother in law bought mm-hmm. a new laptop it was that simple and i was like wow i just need to think about these things much more and stop stressing about it stop stressing about where this flat come will come from where the rent will come from where the laptop will come from because they all happen easily and today i opened my bank account and i saw that i was in surplus i was really amazed i'm very proud of myself so how <laughs> i created this <laughs> absolutely but you also keep mentioning abundance like i asked okay. you earlier so how is abundance difference from money like what okay uh, what is abundance so having money is abundance but abundance is not only about money abundance is the love that you have in your life mm-hmm. the health that you have in your life the laughter that you have in your life think of it like the oxygen the breathing in that you do until covid struck we were not even aware of the breathing that we yeah. were doing we did not have to go anywhere looking for oxygen tanks the only time you realize the importance of breathing is when you are on a ventilator True. and i don't wish that on you at any point of time so oxygen is available freely you don't even have to think about you don't have to buy buy it mm. you don't have to earn it it is available you are just breathing in and breathing out automatically why not think about money like that how on breathe in money breathe money just flows into my nostrils yes. <laughs> and my pockets and <laughs> your pockets <laughs> yes <laughs> but uh, yeah that's what i remember you also telling me uh, and uh, maybe that's where the whole concept of making your money work harder for you also mm-hmm. originates is that yes. money doesn't only have to come from one source yes yeah you just need to figure out uh, and place your monies or place your intentions Yeah. in such ways that you get it from uh, multiple sources and then of course take the desired action yeah, and but, so on see most of the time when people are talking about money they are thinking of a single source that comes mm, my salary uh, has to generate this much money my business has to generate this much money money can come in multiple ways mm. it can come through a job it can come through a business it can come through books that you've written and the copyrights that you have it can come through so franchises fast. can come through your investments it can even come through your inheritance yeah yeah yes it can come in various ways be open to receiving it from instead of making statements this is how i want my money money does not like that money you money is not your master what we normally do is we behave like a slaves to money true so we have to make money work for us and at the same time completely surrender to the fact that the universe which has given you so much of oxygen to breathe the universe which has got so many stars up in the sky so many grains of sand in the on the beach it's not going to leave you but you know i i love the thought but you know this always haunts me that okay at the end of the day if i think that i need say 1 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees and uh, 
how is the question will which will always haunt me because I think probably that's how our minds have been tamed, right? How will I get it? What do I have to do to get it? You know, so how and you are saying on the contrary that the universe will provide you, you just need to focus on the feeling of what you want and be in that vibration and the universe will help you figure out. Okay. So I'll tell you, this is one of the mistakes that I made when I first learned about the secret, which said that think and it will come into your mm. life, which is what you think I am saying. Mm. I am not saying that. I also sat and I thought and I visualized money, but no money came. Mm. Because if you have to become an Olympic swimmer, you have to get into the pool. True, true. If you want to become an ace tennis player, you have to take the bat and go onto the field. You can't sit at home and say, oh, I'm the best tennis player in the world. I'm the best swimmer in the world. No. When you need money, all I'm saying is, while it's all okay, to visualize about money, mm. take those necessary actions vibrating with the frequency of money. Don't take those actions out of panic. Yeah. Don't take those actions in anxiety. Don't take that action in desperation. True, true, true. Create money and do your actions knowing full well that your job is to do those actions. How that money comes to you is none of your business. Will come, right? Will come. <laughs> It okay. came to you, right? Yeah, it did. If you created it once, you can create it again. True, true. So, but now, okay, tell me. So, okay, there's a lot of excitement about this. I'm feeling very excited. I'm sure our listeners are also feeling very excited. But just tell me how to tune in. I think let's keep it that simple. Give like a couple of points on people, what they can do. Uh, apart from, of course, the inspired action will be one of them, like you just explained. Yeah. But what are those things that first we need to do to be able to tune into that frequency of money? Number one, stop hanging out with people who do not have money. Your environment is stronger than your willpower. And like I said, money is energy. If you're hanging out with people who are all desperate and anxious and stressed out, what you do is you are going to absorb their energy and then you will be struggling to create the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is said that you are the average of the five people that you always yeah. hang out with. Yeah. So, hang out with people who are talking about their purpose, who are talking about their dreams. Not Don't hang out with people who are always cribbing and crying and complaining about lack of money mm-hmm. and lack of opportunities and how the government is so bad and how so much you have to pay in taxes and all those kind of things. No. Hang out with people who are talking about money in positive terms. Mm. And not even money actually. Hang out with people who are talking about their dreams. Yeah. About their passions. Because then you absorb that and you start working towards your goals and dreams. Too. Yeah. A very nice thing that I saw in Shah Rukh Khan's interview was that uh, his parents passed away very young. But he was remembering one thing that his mother always told him is that if you if your expenditure is more than your income, of course for now... Try and balance it, yeah. but always think of increasing your income instead of reducing your expenditure. And that is a really good thing because in one of our workshops, we really do this exercise where we ask people to imagine or visualize their goal. Mm-hmm. And when they mm-hmm. say a certain number, I then ask them to double it. The moment I ask them to double, then <laughs> the body changes. Because <laughs> girl, because now you're thinking about the how. How will I generate? And all those questions come into play. Your self-worth. Am I, do I really deserve that much? Second, no one in my family has ever made it. How will I make it? What will happen to my family if I start making that kind of money? How will I play in that big league? I don't even know how to do it. And how will I make that money? How, how, how? Now, without even taking that first step, you've already sabotaged yourself Mm -hmm. and you started making your dreams smaller to what you think is possible. True. Because we always retract back into what we think is comfortable. Yes. It's a very very known uh, proverb in in the language. They don't spread, go beyond, spend beyond your means or don't even think beyond your means for that matter. Don't even think beyond Beyond your your means. means. Yes. That's why. But how do you know that? What's the point? And uh, also, uh, this is very important, like a very important topic for me because I struggle with this a lot is inspired action. So my problem has always been that, okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. 
but without any mindfulness without any joy without any fun in it mm-hmm. i try so hard to make money all the time but i'm not able to get to it because i'm so desperate all the time but i'm where the inspired action needs to be taken i just sit on my bum and say okay uh money will come no universe is giving me no and then i there are so many signs come and i don't take them i don't do the action that maybe you know somebody comes and tells me okay let's go and meet so and so you know they might have something for you and like yeah i don't know universe will give me and this reminds me of that very famous story you know that this guy is in the uh, in a small boat in a middle of a storm in the ocean yeah. and he says god please send somebody to save me please come and save me i trust you please come and save me and then one boat comes and uh, they say come come let's go and he said no god is coming to save me another boat comes god is coming to save me and then he the storm takes over and he passes away and he reaches god so angry is like why the hell did you come and say he say you fool i sent you to boats that is why you need coaches you need a coach to hand hold you and pull you through the stuckness true true you know if you just if you could figure it out all on your own i'll be jobless <laughs> True, but uh, I think this uh, small conversation gives you an insight into what money is and how to earn money, money, money. <laughs> Earning money is really simple. You have to change the way you think about money. Mm. Okay, uh, I was telling you the other day. I was uh, sitting at the window and I said, "Universe, send mm-hmm. me the money. Send me the opportunities and push through all my self-sabotage yeah. techniques that I have." push through it just send it and true to her form universe did send me opportunities universe send me coaching clients universe send me opportunities to go and do workshops and that's how when you actually do the inspired action and then surrender right we do the inspired action and then we don't surrender most of the time we are yeah, sitting that's the waiting. problem yeah that's just the surrender. problem I think one very nice thing which you said was that you ask the universe to push through your limitations, yeah. and and I think that is what is holding us back, right? That yeah. why would somebody give me one lakh rupees? Mm-hmm. Why would somebody trust my word? Why would somebody want to entrust such an important responsibility on me to be able to pay me five lakhs a mm-hmm. month, yeah. and so on? And uh, that that is what I overcame earlier, such so a self worth issue, mm-hmm. and also limited beliefs like our khandan make nobody has ever earned five more than two lakhs. Why, why, why are you thinking? There are thousands and thousands and thousands and yeah. thousands and thousands of beliefs mm-hmm. which are stopping us mm-hmm. from uh, making the money that we can earn, yeah. and they all come from our childhood beliefs and what we've been conditioned to believe. But now you can take over. How long will you sit and complain about True. not having money? It's time to actually take definitive action. Hmm. Actually, my coach told me a really beautiful thing. He said that one of the things that you do when people do come up hmm. and want to sign up for coaching is, in your mind, you are already deciding: do they have the money? How will they hmm. find the money? And that stops you from actually increasing your fees. Right, right. I thought that was brilliant because it's true. How the other person. gets you money is again not your business because if the need is that great they will find the means right. and you have to trust that they have the intelligence yeah. you have to trust that they have the commitment to create the change in their lives i'm very glad that you heard this episode and uh, shila actually has a money you and money program which uh, helps you try and understand your blocks because i remember when we did this workshop you had some 1000 uh, 100 list of beliefs that uh, you try and identify which is my belief that is blocking me and then she helps you with some exercises that uh, helps you get rid of those blocks and gets you going so do uh, check out her instagram page and be updated on uh, you know the upcoming workshops it's a brilliant workshop you must try and if you want to work further you can always work with her as a uh, as your coach and she does a wonderful job so thank you so much for listening to us today we had such a good time hope you enjoyed and took something out of this session see you in the next time bye